extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create an embossed design using quick mask mode and a brush stroke. The brush that I'm going to be using from, and I'm just going to go over to the brush tool here, from a graphic extras. It's a scroll design. Just apply that in quick mask mode. And I'm just going to go in there, just apply it. And there you have the selection. Now I'm just going to go over now to select inverse. So now what I want to do is actually save that selection. So I'm just going to go to select save selection. Click OK. You'll just see over here in the channels. Can't see that. Channels there. OK. Get rid of that. I don't want that anymore. So deselect. I'm just going to add a background for the uh, this emboss. So I'm just going to go for a gradient. It's just a standard gradient in Photoshop and razor option. I've gone for difference mode, so I'm just going to just go to the center and I'm just going to create a quick gradient. So this is a, basically what I'm going to be doing is create a shield design, but that's a little bit later. So now I've done that, what I want to go to now is go to a filter and I'm going to add a little bit of a blur, I don't want it just as sharp as that, I'm just going to blur it slightly, click OK. And now filter, render. And this is where the emboss comes in. It just creates, takes a bit of time just to bring this up. And you will see the actual design applied there. And the key thing here is not none, but alpha, alpha one. That's the first, the alpha channel that's been created. And of course you can change that, colorize depending how you want, as well as move the actual light around. I'm just gonna go with the default there. So. Just click OK at that point, but obviously you could spend more time developing the, the actual design. And I'm going to again, now it's once it's finished, once it's actually done its work, I'm just going to go to Blur and apply a slight blur again. I actually think it's sometimes a bit too... It'd be nice if there was a smooth feature in the uh, lighting, but anyway. Click OK at that point. And I'm also going to add a slight oil paint option as well. There's oil paint, and it gives it a sort of nice sort of swirly sort of curly sort of design just by going for stylization just set all those to max scale doesn't matter about that and shine back to zero so now if I put the bristle detail not much change anyway so click OK so there you have the initial point for the emboss and well it's basically emboss anyway so uh, but I'm just going to go to filter and sketch and chrome. Now this is one filter that quite often doesn't actually generate very good results, but just basically with the emboss, it actually works really well. It actually creates a really nice emboss there. So just gonna change the smoothness slightly. Detail, of course, you can change that how you want. Click OK. And there you have basically a very shield-like design that can be used. Obviously you can cut that out and make it into a a circular design and as a shield. So also after that I always quite like again quickly to apply the oil paint. I do like the oil paint filter to add a nice sort of swirly sort of not so perfect emboss. Anyway, hope you found that uh, quick tutorial of interest and uh, that uh, you'll come back and check out the channel at some later time. Thank you much.